Okay, finally, I mentioned eigenvector centrality. Come to our last uh, positional measure. Eigenvector centrality is a measure of influence based on the important people you know. And by the important people we know, the other connected people in the network. So we've changed up the graph just a little bit. We still have our players. We still have Jill, and we have Emma, and we have Liz. But I've changed the color coding a little bit to give a sense of um, how high the eigenvector centrality is. So my darker blue nodes have higher eigenvector centrality, and then uh, they, as they uh, get red and brighter, they become less important. So in this eigenvector uh, centrality analysis, Jill is again an important player because, well, Jill is an important player. Jill is very central, and Jill is also connected to other central people. And we see that Emma and Shane are important, but they're now important for a different reason. They're important because they are uh, connected to Jill and because they have lots of ties going through them. And we find that John, who has previously not been particularly mentioned in this network, has uh, also a high eigenvector centrality, but this isn't because uh, John's on a lot, lot of nice highways. It's because John's connected to Jill and connected to Emma. So John might actually be sort of an obscure part of the network, but because John has a particular connection to these other important people, they might, John might be a person worth paying attention to. Now, eigenvector centrality and degree centrality in general, when we're thinking about importance, I want to uh, bring up that importance is related to what we think the mechanisms are that are going on in the network. So eigenvector centrality is great if you think that importance is Co highly correlated with connection and a lot of network things that makes a lot of sense but for instance if I want to analyze uh, political networks or places where people purposely actually manage their ties and might even silo their ties so if I wanted to analyze North Korea Kim Jong-il's network was not actually he was not actually the most connected guy I mean he was connected in between the centrality highly connected. But as far as total degree, no, 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 no. Only certain people got to talk to him and he was not going to have tons of people come into him. And with eigenvector centrality, this would be a good measure because if you're connected to him, then you're probably important. But Kim Jong-il himself probably didn't have a super, he would have a super high eigenvector centrality, but other people around him that might be important people may not. So you have to think about what is the overall um, factors that are c contributing. What is the tie generation process? And when you think about the tie generation process, that gives you a better sense of what measures might be the important measures.